Hey, what's going on, Class Scholars? I hope your day is going well. My name is Kieran Tross, and I am here with another how-to video for you. Um, I want to say a special welcome if you're on your first time watching any of the videos here at Class Scholars. Uh, today's how-to video is uh, I'm going to show you how to configure conditional access for Azure PIM. Right, so PIM is uh, Privileged Identity Management, um, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can set up a conditional access policy to enforce uh, uh, PIM for an elevated role or whatever you need in your environment. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to this Azure AD conditional access because I have it right here. And what I like to do with the conditional access policies, if you've worked in Azure for a while, you'll realize that it kind of takes up a ton of this screen, not kind of, it does. If you have a bunch of policies and it's hard to read. So I like to do a numbering system. So here I didn't follow the numbering system, but down here I will. So I have 1A, 2A, 3A, and that's really if I'm, the way I kind of do it is user risk policy, and I'll say 1A, and it's for contractors, and then I'll say 1B, user risk policy, and it would be for internal employees, so on and so forth. So for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say new policy, and I am going to call it 4A, and this is going to be PIM, uh, exchange admin. Um, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on users and I can do uh, specific roles. So I'm going to say, okay, this is directory roles and I'm actually going to look for exchange administrator. All right. And what I'm going to do is if anybody wants to get that, that, uh, account, that role, then, um, they're going to need to go through this whole setup. So I say exchange online and I click select. All right. And it's just giving me a message letting me know that it's going to affect one drive, which is perfectly fine for me. And then what I'll do is I'm going to go over here to conditions. And now I can do different conditions for this as well. Um, I can say use a risk, sign a risk. If you want to kind of get into that as well, if you're, if you're trying to lock it down to that degree, or you could say, you know, locations, you could say, okay, uh, this condition is applied if you're outside of uh, our trusted IP ranges. But I'm going to leave this section empty because um, everything here is fine. I actually want it no matter what. And um, over here, access policies. So what I want to do is say, okay, you know what? Uh, required device be marked as compliant. So that's one of the things, right? So I'll grant access, but require the device be marked as compliant. So my... Uh, hopefully my administrator is doing all his up updates and allowing the updates to the machine. But if he has a corporate machine um, and it's not compliant, then he will not get access. And that's pretty much it. So it's now telling me it's in report only mode and it's saying policies in report only mode requiring compliant devices may be prompt users on Mac, iOS, Android, and Linux to, see, to select a de device certificate, which this is fine. I could put it on if I really wanted to. Um, whatever, I'll throw it on for just for this purpose. And there you have it. So I have all my settings set up and then what I'll do is I'll click create. And then that's pretty much it. I have created my, uh, policy my conditional access policy, which is for anyone who's trying to elevate to the exchange admin, they're going to go through that whole prompt and make sure that they meet all those conditions before they cannot elevate their rights so that they can get that role and then perform whatever job function they need to perform. So this was a quick how-to video, keeping it short and sweet. Um, I hope that what you were looking for, I provided you in this video. If you have any questions or anything of, of that nature, please place it in the comments. I'm more than happy to respond. Um, I feel like we responded relatively quickly over here with, with all our comments. Um, I hope this information was beneficial to you, as I stated earlier. Um, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. We have tons of videos about Azure, cybersecurity, uh, anything that you're really looking for in that space. Um, we definitely can create a video if we do not have it. Um, but I hope that you all are enjoying the content here at Cloud Scholars. So as always, um, the, the goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.